reporting successful jump procedure. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Houston, I've spotted something near the LZ. It's closing in. Rift jump successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley. We have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning lift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. Finally, let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. Headquarters construction is in progress. This is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. Ashley, we really need that Carbonium factory.
Ashley, I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate, that's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. Thank you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy.
Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. 